What's going on guys? I'm Mike. Uh, if you guys haven't already seen, we did the Fire Stick 4K review. Today we're going to show you how to jailbreak it. First things first, let's go to some of the privacy settings and tracking and all that other stuff. So let's go to preferences, we'll go to privacy settings, and you want to turn all of these off. We don't want anyone tracking what we're doing. We don't want anyone knowing anything that we're doing, and we don't want internet-based ads. So we'll hit the back button on that. And we'll next we'll go to data monitoring. Make sure that's off. And we're going to go down to featured content. I'm going to turn the autoplays off. That's so once we get into the main feature, it doesn't automatically play ads and uh, previews for shows and whatnot. Okay, so we're going to hit the back button. Go to my Fire TV. We're going to go to developer options. And we're going to turn these on. Then we're going to go over to the search section and we're going to put in, we have to download the downloader. That's the beginning. There's the app right there. Hit the okay. Hit get. So it downloads for free. Got it. Now it's installing the app. We'll open it. You have to allow all permissions Hit okay all right so once you have the download done you're going to go to settings just make sure all of these are clicked on you want to enable the javascript and then we're going to go up to home okay we got to type in we type in this website all right, we have to click it for download it for android and we're going to download the 32-bit version and it should automatically connect just give it a minute Okay, so once you download it you no longer need the file so you can hit delete Just to save some storage on your fire stick. They aren't that very big So now you can open up Kodi. So obviously everything's empty. I just downloaded it. I don't have anything available. We're going to have the add-ons. But this is the start of the downloading features. All right. So let's go into the settings. Scroll down to system. Go down to add-ons. And we're going to turn on unknown sources. Yes. If you want the notifications, you could do that as well. We'll leave install updates automatically. And then we will back out to file manager. We're going to click on add source. And at this point, you could download whatever add-ons you want, whether you want Placenta, Neptune. There's a million things you could download. You guys, if you want to do your own research and check in on what you prefer. So once you download everything, you can go back to the main and you'll see you have Kodi downloaded on there, which is instantly accessible. I'm not going to get into all the other add-ons and TV things and all the other stuff that you could download. Um, again, if you guys are already watching these types of videos, you know what to look for and know what apps you're looking for for streaming TV and stuff like that. So that's basically it. Let's take it back up top and talk about it more. All right, guys. So... As you can see, that's the basic rundown. I didn't get into every single um, app and all that stuff. There's a million things that you guys could choose. You download the Kodi, you can access majority of what you need on there. If you want to download individual apps, such as like Titanium TV and all that stuff, you could do all of that directly from the downloader. Super simple. Again, if you want to look at any one particular app, just figure out which one you want to download. Use the downloader. You have to get that. You have to change the settings that I showed you. Once you do that, you're open to downloading whatever you want from live TV shows to just apps with movies and all that stuff. So it's a very simple thing. If you guys have more questions 
on this, comment down below or again, head over to our Facebook or Instagram pages. Uh, follow those pages. You can interact with us directly there and we'll help you out do the run through with uh, this fire stick breakdown or jailbreak or side load, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We can help you out there. And hopefully this video helped you, gave you a little idea um, how to do it and all that stuff. And if you're in the process of cutting the cord and all that, uh, this is a good way to go. I newly cut the cord from Verizon and all that. No longer have television, so I'm exploring all the options and taking you guys with me uh, on this journey to find basically free television or cheaper alternative to cable in general. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. we got new content coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys for watching. Take care.